Well, this has to be one of the nicest, most beautiful computers ever made. I've been using it for a good 24 hours now. And I'm so happy and so pleased with this particular little computer. And I want to show you in this video some, how you can get a little bit stuck on some problems and not realize what's going on and um, how it can take quite a lot of time to get to the bottom. What happened was is I had the, this operating system on here running on a USB stick and I just copied the USB stick to the SSD drive, put the SSD drive in and it just went like a dog, it just booted up like a dog and I assumed that the reason was that there was some problem with the SSD drive. But it bothered me for a long time. I made a video about the, you know, the difference between the boot up time of the USB stick and the SSD drive and what my thoughts on it were. And I'm going to put that at the end of this video so that those who are interested in, in looking at the rest of the video can see what the problem, how the problem manifested. Yet what I found out was by doing a little bit of research on the Linux that there's a special command or system service that runs. If you've got an SSD, if you're booting from an SSD, what it does is it runs a, 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 a FS trim service, which is something to do with optimizing the sectors on the SSD. And when I looked at analyzing what was causing the boot up time problem, it turned out that this FS trim service was taking up 1 minute 59 seconds of the boot up time. And this thing must have been running the whole time it was booting up in the background as a service. So it just looked like the computer was going like a dog. And so it can be a little bit misleading. You, know, you, just, you don't know what's going on, but you just presume it's doing exactly the same thing as it was doing on the SD card or, or USB stick or whatever it is that you're using as a boot medium. And it mustn't do the FS trim service on, on those particular devices. So just to let you know really that you can, if your machine is booting slowly from an SSD, it may be because of the FS trim. Now, Linux Jade OS is an unusual operating system. I'll just put this down because of the way it operates. It's a very fine operating system. The way it operates is it actually it doesn't boot it doesn't boot itself to its local hard drive. It boots itself to what's called a, a memory, a RAM disk. And so when it's running the operating system, it's actually running in the RAM of the computer, which is very, very fast. That's why it boots up so fast, really, and operates so fast. It's running in the RAM disk. And so it's not actually coming off the hard disk at all. And so when it loads its programs, they're actually they're loading from the RAM disk, from memory into memory. So it's can't really beat that really. So it's pretty fast in that respect. And one of the advantages of it, which you might see as a downside, but in actual fact is, is a good feature, is that whenever you reboot the machine, it goes back to its original setup. It's where you left it last time. If you, if you store that setup and then make it permanent on the USB stick, it always boots up to the same place. So for example, if you um, if you installed some software, when you rebooted it, that software would be gone, which is pretty good. If you install software and it ruins your operating system, then all you do is reboot and it's gone. It's back to where it was before. And if you like the software and want to keep that software, what you have to do is you have to make that permanent on the USB stick. There's a special process that I have on my operating system. It's easy to do. But yeah, it's a bit of a hassle to go through it. And so 
Well, I tend to do that. I, find I don't bother using it very often. I don't hardly ever remaster my USB sticks because by the time I've got to that point, I've got my system set up pretty much with all the software I need on anyway. And so I'm not loading software all the time. And sometimes you just want a piece of software, you load it up, you use it, and next time it's gone, your system's tidy. If you ever need to use that software again, you can just really just reload it off the internet fast enough and just use it again. And so those kind of things are, that's the way this Jade operating system works. And it does have a, its home folders are actually stored on the, on the separate partition of the USB stick so that when you change things on your home partition, your settings and things like that, most of your settings change and re are retained. And there's also a facility on Linux J that if you ever get corrupted like you've been on the internet loads of times and it's written a whole lot of stuff into the Firefox folders and stuff like that, what you can do is you can just as an option when you boot up Linux Jade to say um, reload it, boot it up as it was when the USB stick was first created. And so that puts everything back into place, all your original home folders and everything. Then all you need to do is copy your home folder back over onto the separate partition of a USB stick where, it's let, where, where it normally gets used from. And then you've restored to a backup copy of your home folder. So it's, a lot of thought has gone into the design of Linux JNOS. It's not an operating system that's actually readily available. It's something I made for myself. And so, so what? <laughs> I can't make this operating system for other people. I'm not an operating system salesman and I haven't got enough time to be dealing with copying USB sticks and that for everybody. And so it's not the sort of operating system that you can let people just download off the internet take too long. But if there are any friends and family who want a copy of this operating system, you're quite welcome just to give me a USB stick uh, when you see me, and I'll quite happily copy um, a copy of my operating system onto the USB stick for you so that you can also run any of these computers, or any computer really. You just pop it in, run, and it goes like a rocket ship and um, you can use it forever really you don't have to worry about upgrading your windows operating system or anything like that it will just take your old hardware and will just run it perfectly fine today as you can see from the work i'm doing with these computers so if you're interested in the mystery of why the ssd took longer to boot than the usb stick continue watching otherwise I'll see you later. I'm going tomorrow. I'm going to Port Penryn. And I'm going to help my friend Stephen to launch and bring his boat to Port Penryn. And so I'm hoping to document that whole process. And I hope you um, you will watch that video when it comes out on YouTube. Thanks for watching.
that was a SanDisk SSD, 128 gigabyte SSD, and you will notice that the hard disk light is still on solid, and it was on really, really solid, and it took ages to boot. Now, I'm going to show you the same thing, exactly the same operating system, just copied directly to a USB stick. Every bit the same. We'll just shut this down. Identical copy. I just copied the SSD, the contents of the SSD with the operating system and everything to a USB stick. So anybody can do this. You just take your hard disk contents and copy it to a USB stick. Now watch this. How fast this is. Hard uh, disk lights on hard, you see. Now it's going like a rocket. Look at that. Well, now I know why I don't use SSDs. Now it may just be that this is SATA 2 speeds or something and the BIOS needs updating. But it just gives you, it goes to show I don't have any of these problems running from a USB stick. So, something to think about. Well, it's probably an old one. I don't know where it came from, this Sandisk Ultra. It's probably a pretty old disk solid state drive but something to watch out for if you have got an old solid state drive you might want to try the difference between that and, and um, your USB card or an SD card if you can boot to an SD card not all computers can boot to an SD card there's a special adapter that you can get with a, a rabbit on it that goes into the um, card slot, express card slot, that allows you to boot to an SD card. I did a benchmark on the USB stick and this is what it produced. See it's 30 med 32 megabytes per second and access time of 1.39 milliseconds. I'll do the same on the SSD. Well, this is the SSD. It's a bit of a mystery, really. 